What's up? I'm Roy Fur. This is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, and it's Monday, which means it's time to open up my mailbox and answer your questions about copywriting, marketing, business building, and more. <sighs> Today's question, I don't know, it covers a lot of ground, and at the same time, it gets really to the core of what makes for an effective marketer, especially, well, I don't know, online, offline, whatever. That's just media. It doesn't matter that much. We'll dive into all of that as we cover today's question. So we're gonna be talking about the three pillars of profitable marketing with a big hat tip to Perry Marshall for his tactical triangle. That's a little bit of a tease. Let's look at today's question. The question that came in was, what are pillars of profitable and sustainable marketing? How do I help my clients consistently create campaigns that their customers will respond to and find relevant? What are the three most important qualities of a world-class marketer and copywriter? And yeah, I mean, this is somebody that kind of feels like they're reaching out for all the big ideas in marketing. And to some degree, I would say that that's not that useful. Uh, and, and yet at the same time, laying the foundation of the principles that are behind profitable, sustainable marketing, how to consistently create campaigns that customers respond to, the most important qualities of a world-class marketer and copywriter, like all of those things are important. So, you know, I thought, why not? Let's, let's go ahead and answer that question. If you have a question you'd like to have answered in an upcoming episode of Mailbox Monday, Check the link in the description to ask Roy your question. Okay, so getting into the three pillars of profitable marketing. I really like for this, I think of this consistently. If we're gonna talk about the three pillars of profitable marketing, I'm gonna go straight to Perry Marshall's tactical triangle. Now, the lineage here actually goes back before Perry uh, there was a guy named Ken McCarthy. The very, very, very first article that I wrote on Breakthrough Marketing Secrets was about Ken McCarthy. And uh, Ken is basically the guy who taught everybody who teaches internet marketing today, either taught them internet marketing or taught their their teachers internet marketing. <laughs> like he's OG of internet marketing. He was the Titans of direct response. And he, for about 10 years, in the very early 2000s, he ran something called the System Seminar. And what Ken taught at the System Seminar was that uh, traffic plus conversion equals profits. Traffic plus conversion equals profits. So you could set up a website and it could have a ton of traffic, but if it doesn't convert people, it's not gonna be profitable. And, uh, and then you could also have a website that is written by the best copywriter, the best marketer in the world, and it could convert like crazy. But if you don't send significant traffic to it, you're not gonna make significant profits, right? So you need to traffic and conversion. Well, Perry Marshall, along with uh, Jack Bourne, uh, who Perry references in his 8020 Sales and Marketing book, came up with this idea of, it, it's not just traffic and conversion, and by the way, yeah, Perry was a uh, Perry. Perry was faculty at the System Seminar, so it's not like he's just uh, stealing this whole cloth or whatever. Um, but um, piggybacking on expanding on Ken's idea of traffic plus conversion equals profits, they realized Perry and Jack realized that you need to have adequate economics, particularly if you want to scale. And so that's where we get into something like the like like funnel strategy right so if you are selling a i don't know like a let's say you're selling a, a book offer and it's a sub ten dollar book offer let's say let's just say you know it's a nine dollar book right and you're selling a nine dollar book and your competitor is selling a nine dollar book but your competitor as soon as someone buys that nine dollar book or as they're going through the process it says would you also like the audiobook version of this for an additional $14. Okay, would you like the accompanying uh, training and shortcut guides for an additional $29? Okay, w and then after that, would you like the master's level course for uh, $249? Okay, would you like private coaching on this for $2,499, right? And those, those particular offers are just coming off the top of my head, so they may not be 
perfect for any business, right? But it gives you the idea of this ascending offers that are being made. And when you're going through that sales process, you know, on one level, you may think, geez, this person's making me a bunch of offers. But if you are the ideal target for that highest level, it's like, oh, this person is just giving me more of what I want and more of what I want and more of what I want. And those systems rely on finding the the few, um, the, 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 the vital few customers who want to say yes to every single offer that you give them in order to completely change the economics of the funnel. So if you have one in 100 that take the 2499, um, 2499 offer, it still changes the economics of running traffic for that funnel in a gigantic way. And so if you're you're looking at the three pillars of profitable marketing here, I'm talking about I'm talking about this um, from an online marketing perspective, but really the same thing applies offline. Traffic is like who who am I getting to see my marketing message? Right? What's the mailing list? What's the audience of whatever traditional media pies? Whatever it is, we're still looking for the people. Right? We're looking for the audience conversion. Well, you could convert them online, you could convert them offline, you could convert them through a sales process, you can convert them through a marketing process, right? But it's still the same fundamental act, getting them to pull their credit card out and give you money. And the economics just reflects how your offers are structured in such a way that it will be profitable, right? And the more average profit you get or average revenue you get per person that goes through your process, the easier it's going to be, for example, to bid in a competitive advertising landscape. And so three pillars of profitable marketing, like this is what it comes down to. It comes down to being able to get your ads in front of people. That's the traffic component, right? Making ads that actually convert people into buyers. That's the conversion component and understanding that that has to work at favorable economics in order for you to have it be sustainable, have it be scalable. Now, if you want to consistently create profitable marketing campaigns for clients or for your own business, it starts with one. It starts with one of each. So you want to master one scalable traffic source that could be Google ads, it could be Facebook ads, it could be magazine or newspaper ads. Those things still are relevant in lots of markets. It could be radio broadcast, it could be TV broadcast, it could be YouTube, it could be uh, TikTok, it could be whatever, right? It could be SEO. Um, you know, SEO doesn't tend to be as fast, but mastering one scalable traffic source. It could be podcasts, it could be yeah, lots of scalable traffic sources. There are advantages and disadvantages on if you're able to pay for or not pay for traffic, right? But still mastering one scalable traffic source. Master one reliable conversion system. I got really good at long form sales letters that kind of translated into video sales letters. Mastering one reliable conversion system. In different markets, it may be relevant to be a master of advertorial landing pages followed by e-commerce product pages, right? There's, there's lots of different conversion systems out there that are more or less relevant depending on your market, but you wanna master one reliable conversion system. And then master one economically profitable offer. Um, so for example, in the investment newsletter business, there was the uh, $49 to $99, but really it's better if it's $49 to about $69. Eh, let's call it $29 to $69. Um, one year subscription to a monthly investment newsletter with occasional portfolio updates sent in between. So for you're paying for a year, you're paying maybe $30, $50 to subscribe to this newsletter. And that is typically followed by a lifetime subscription offer for that newsletter. Uh, so it could be maybe $249 for lifetime access. Maybe the $29 was a first year rate, renews at $99. And for $249, you can get access to it for life. And then there's typically a back-end trading service associated with that. And that's gonna be more frequent trade recommendations, uh, presumably aiming for higher profits, right? Um, but the, the whole point is in that particular 
market, there is a particular economically profitable offer, and that's gonna change a lot slower. But if you get really good at one particular, particularly uh, strong economically profitable offer sold with one reliable conversion system and one scalable traffic source that really focuses on one type of niche or client, that can take you a really, really long way to consistently creating profitable marketing campaigns for clients. If you figure out what works in a niche and you can repeat that, that's going to go a long way. Now, as you grow your skills as a marketer, you're probably going to want to expand out, right? If you are focused on traffic, you may focus on, you may still always have your core traffic source that you focus on, but you may, let's say you're really good at Facebook, you may decide to also get good at Google, also get good at native ads, also get good at different platforms that allow you to drive traffic, and then maybe you do a bunch of retargeting on Facebook and all of that, so you have a traffic system that's feeding on itself. Or the conversion systems, maybe you get, you know, maybe you branch out, right? Or the offers, maybe you branch out. But still, if you want to get to the point where you're consistently creating profitable marketing campaigns, you want to get really good at at least one. Now, the three most important qualities of a world-class marketer, number one is just a willingness to test, to try things, to fail, right? Uh, implicit in the willingness to test is a willingness to fail, to try things that don't work, and to keep things that do work. Uh, the second most important quality of a world-class marketer is that they are market driven. To be market driven means that you're not assuming that just what you say should go, that you put things in the market, you see what works, you see what doesn't work, and you use that to drive your decision making. And then persistent, because you're going to test a lot of things that don't work. And so you have to be persistent. You absolutely have to be persistent if you want to be a good marketer, a world-class marketer. Uh, you're going to figure things out. You're going to learn. Hopefully, you're going to learn how to test quickly and learn quickly. And then you're going to grow quickly and just keep getting better and better with every test that you run and learn what the market wants. My call to action for you at the end of this episode, ask yourself how you can use this. What takeaways do you have? What action items? You can leave a comment with this episode and let me know. Uh, also, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get more content like this delivered to you. You can check the links in the description to ask me your question about copywriting, marketing, business building, and more. And if you want to go much deeper with me, I do offer the BTMS Insider Streaming Library of Copywriting and Marketing Courses, which in June 2023 is currently open for lifetime access. Uh, so if you're watching this episode as it comes out, if you're catching it as it comes out, um, you can sign up for lifetime access to my BTMS Insiders training library, get everything there uh, for now and for life. And if you want to go deeper, if you want my help nailing your traffic conversion and economic strategies in your business, I'll link to my fractional CMOs and copy chief services for direct response marketers. That's all in the description. I'm Roy Fur. This is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I'll catch you again in the next episode. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.